They're jumping do. right into it. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god. Alright, take two. Let's take two. As uh, Zach decides to start a little bit more passive this time with a spin dash instead of holding attack. There's yes. very little that you can do to actually just pressure that, honestly. He's, he's at a long distance from you. You just have to like slowly start approaching him and see what he's going to do. Zach trying to go for the two frame F smash. Uh, they're not able to find it quite yet. Still has no percent to his name. Landing with homing attack on shield. Um, yeah, still didn't get away with it. Something that I've like, been really liking from Zach's gameplay across the couple of sets that I've watched is he's using a lot more of a... Uh, so there's a technique with Sonic that you can do in, in the use it with a mid-air spin dash where you can flip the C-stick in the direction that you're uh, facing and mm -hmm. instead of traveling all along the ground, he'll do a short hop and keep the momentum of the spin dash and dart across the air. And he's using uh, that to take a lot of mid-air space and attack from above instead of almost always going back down to stage level first. Granted, it does use your double jump, so it's a little bit risky, but it is a great mix-up that he's using with relative frequency if he has the, if his opponent is pressuring on a ground level or below him. So, good stuff from Zach. He's able to mix up his, his distancing as Sonic is uh, frequent to do. So what is right now trying to, like, once again, like, telegraph uh, where <gasps> Zach is gonna be, but actually gonna be able to fall out of the PK Foundation Really unfortunate thing, I believe that would have taken the stock that, um, had, it, had that not been the case. He's, this neutral is like, the, the stage is divided in half. Like, uh, Zach is playing really well around these PK fires and not trying to get pushed into any sort of uh, ledge trapping or two frame situation. Yeah. Meanwhile, Webb is respecting uh, Sonic speed super well. But as soon as Zach get, tries to come in for a potential, for a potential offensive mix up, uh, Web finds a grab confirm off the down tilt and gets that up throw to kill. 137, he's going a little bit deep off stage as the spring is going to be what forces the PK Thunder, but not going to be able to get the two frame with that F smash. Trying to get an elite kill with the back of Spike, not able to find it quite yet. Sonic, wow, finally able to get the kill. That was a really nice F tilt, good, yeah, uh, good catch on the goal. And yeah, yeah the, when, you, when you land with homing attack, not on shield, and you just completely whip it, there's like like a huge window for you to be able to punish that. It's like deceptively long. Like you should have like a punish in mind every single time Sonic whips that in your face. A combo coming off the rising up air into a falling down air, and to go off what you're saying about homing attack, a great I, a great thing to do is while homing attack is really safe on shield, you can see the charge, and if you know where they're going to release it or react to when they release it. Uh, you can spot dodge and get and be able to hard, hard punish the yeah. land, back landing like. Yeah, no, absolutely. Homing attack, just really good at like catching you, like you just pressing buttons preemptively, or um, or just maybe like being a little bit scared in pressure scenarios. And the like, look at that crazy Zach, range. But, yeah. Zach whipping his homing attack, going like across the stage like that. Webb knew exactly like, okay, I have enough time to bounce smash this. I love when we're, when we're talking about something and the, the players decide, you know what, let's show them what yeah. they're talking about. It's so great. Thanks, yeah. Zach. <laughs> Zach's trying to play a little bit more forward now, trying to catch uh, Webb as he's remaining mid-air. He still has his double jump, but the PK freeze is going to let him get up back to ledge. Oh, that's very similar to like you know like Chris's use of flash as he was getting back to stage, very reminiscent of that. Um, basically the same kind of idea in the sense that both moves have a lot of a uh, lot of active frames and they have very little end lag, so it just sort of forces you to kind of play back just a little bit. Yeah, Zach does not seem ready for these aggressive options off ledge that uh, Webb is doing, where he reverses with he reverses his reverse his face with the PSI magnet in order to get a back air, which spiked into then an up air. It's a great follow up oh from my God. Webb, stacking damage so quickly, and Sonic looking so for this kill. To, so much rage to Webb's rage to Webb's name. He could be looking for the kill kill right now. Just about anything to kill Sonic and have told him. A nice, a nice meaty folder. Yeah, Webb is doing a great job of minimizing damage 
Uh, especially since... Oh, okay. I'm missing the F-tilt. Jesus! What? What is this pressure? Did you see how Webb just followed him? All he just this. chased him around. Oh yeah, I've been on the receiving end a couple of times. It's ridiculous. Like, Lucas is there, is able to cross up and catch a rollbacks and then confirm into down tilts, which then they can confirm, or at the very least 50-50 into stuff like grabs or dash attacks. This character just has so much latent kill potential, and Webb is doing a great job of making that, confirming into that kill potential, whether it be mm -hmm. confirming into grabs, into forward airs, into down smashes, or, or into setups for down smashes. Like, he's making sure that he's not mm -hmm. just having to throw out powerful moves, but rather throw out his much safer ones and much longer lasting ones that can lead into these kills. That final stock was just ridiculous. He oh, yeah, gross. had, he was like, I know you're gonna roll in right now. So I don't care that I whiff this F tilt. I don't care that I whiff this down tilt. I don't even care if I whiff this nail. You're gonna, he was so confident that Zach was gonna roll into center stage because he was like, he was catching Zach just like be a little bit antsy, be a little bit best at wanting to reset neutral. You all like that's something that players instinctually do. Like they try to roll to center stage, and Webb just powered. Like he just he ran through that. That was so good. It's it's scary like how good Lucas's frame data is. As we do see the Samus come out, trying to play a little bit more defensive is he might have been preparing for a uh, for a long drawn out fest. Like, hence why going Sonic game one. But then he's realized quickly enough, I suppose, that, wow, Webb is uh, just really playing in a, almost an aggressive style of Lucas, like hitting buttons in my face. As Zach, prone to screw attack, as we've seen uh, in his previous set against... Uh, in his previous set against Wonders. Uh, mm -hmm. But look how comfortable Webb looks in this matchup compared to the last one. Well, I feel like he was going a lot more blow-to-blow -blow with the Sonic. He has been controlling the pace of the match now uh, when fighting Zack Samus. And, and just like not getting hit by a single projectile using the PK fire to stuff out um, any usage of the uh, charge shot. And, and reflects like every single missile that Zack tries to throw out. I really like these, uh, this adaptive use of a Zare with these Zare buffs, uh, Samus's Zare being mm -hmm. much, much better. And it being, having it something that Lucas can't reflect and can't uh, absorb, it's going to be incredibly valuable into this matchup. Yeah, it's the, definitely the biggest like challenge uh, for Lucas in a matchup. Uh, very difficult for him to challenge it. He has to respect it a fair amount of the time, trying to go for uh, the little, little uh, cheeky uh, B kill there. Not able to find it. Zach keeping web so long at ledge. Ooh, he just healed a 25. <laughs> That's a lot of work down the drain. Yeah, that's something you have to be constantly mindful of. The throw is not going to take it quite yet. Yeah, Sam is heavy. So, you know, that's going to be a lot more helpful against compared to someone like Sonic. And with a more consistent out of shield option that covers both sides, like up B, you're not able to get around some of this uh, faker pressure mm -hmm. that Lucas is prone to do. Zach has started bit... to... Oh, yeah, go ahead. No, go ahead, go ahead. you got it. Uh, Zach has started to mix up uh, some of his timings on his charge shots, like sort of trying to bait a magnet from Webb uh, so that he could maybe like punish it a little bit. Um, and that's definitely like the play to do. Just look at that, like Webb whiffing so many moves, uh, whiffing the magnet, whiffing the PK5, only because Zach is uh, going for the charge shot. Yeah, he's conditioning shield super well with some of these charge shots and the mini charge shot and the dash attack. Uh, even without the trip, I do believe that is true. So. Yeah, no, no, that was, that was brilliant. And even if Webb had committed to the absorb there, uh, Zach might have had enough time to still, like, it doesn't matter if he healed that much, he still would have been able to land that dash attack. All right, throwing out these bombs and setting up a ledge situation, and that's 71 in the blink of an eye. Some of Samus's ledge play can result in so much damage, or in that mm -hmm. case, an incredibly low shield. He gets a full charge shot and now, now has all of these mix-ups if he didn't just release it immediately and have them heal 35. Uh, I, I was going to mention this earlier and going off of your uh, charge shot mix-up comment, how he's he should be trying to incorporate a lot more of these grabs since Samus's tether is super, super long 
and since he's already doing a great job of conditioning shield and conditioning psi magnet with these charge shots like you can extend off of that well with this damage uh, with the gr uh, grab damage that sam's can get especially at low percents his or grab combos are pretty decent at a higher percent you have a kill throw now so something to keep in mind at the very least for later not, not get up attacking instead going for a little bit more risky punish let me look at it like every single time at this point that zach is going for charge shot we see web uh, preemptively going with his magnet so we, i definitely like want to see him like try to challenge that at some point yeah, coming back against PK Thunder, no easy task, able to slip in between the hits of the multi-hitting down smash. Right now, Zach is holding the stage super, super strong. Samus definitely prone to taking stocks relatively early. Zach, just don't, just don't hit the B button. Don't do it. What's Zach going to do to challenge Zach? Nothing. Yeah, this is still completely within the realm of possibility for Zach. Nice high recovery, and I like that directional air dodge for good measure as well. So that he would not have any chance of just landing in front he of him. He had Samus. that roll. He knew he was gonna roll, but Samus's roll was just so slow that he mistimed his grab. That up B out of shield almost killed that up B. And just like that, Zach has brought this back to effectively even. Either one of these uh, players to get the next hit is gonna take the stock. I mean, wow. like, Zach pretty much did like almost 180% worth of damage to that stock. But some of these well timed PSI magnets are gonna be really, really detrimental uh, later in the, as the game gets into its later state. This, the time's kind of ticking down a little bit in this slow-paced slugfest. Goodness, I just noticed that we have a minute and like 37 seconds left on the clock right now. Yeah, both these players playing uh, rather patient, as the, but that quick confirm getting, uh, getting Zach to 76 already. I love the adaptation from Webb, seeing that Zach, down you know, he's down, going Just down forward. smash, just do it. There, okay. Up to work still. <laughs> yeah, I love the adaptation for Web where he keeps going for like jump PK fires. Uh, noticing that Zach is much more keen to go for the jump Zeres. And that's just about the only tool that Lucas has to challenge that. Zach is bringing this really, really bad, making this within the realm of possibility for him. Oh, goodness. I like the coverage with the uh, falling down and as he's getting back, just in case Webb wants to run in and try to anti air him. Oh no. Really, really good solid ledge trap and able to jump out of there in time, not get uh, grabbed. Yeah, right now Webb is like, okay, you know what? I can completely give Zach a change of pace. I can just start reflecting everything he does, trying to stuff charge shot with PK fire again. Like, very, very similar to how he was playing in like the beginning of, uh, of this game. Look at him, he has a time advantage. 13 seconds. I don't think Zach knows this. Oh no. You seeing this? Damn. Well, that's definitely a way to end it. Uh, uh, really the timeout, huh? Yeah, UBL, you there? Huh, I don't, I don't think he's like, but yeah, really ended up going to the timeout. Web secured uh, the lead early on and was just like able to hold it throughout. Um.